Hey folks, Landstrider here, and I'd like to welcome you to my new series where I'll be playing on the Primus server with some very talented other YouTubers. And um, let's see, this here is the spawn where you start out, and you're actually in a very nice spawn city. Now, I have not been able to play since day one. I was actually invited at day one, but I have not been able to get on and record for for like a week. I think it's been just a week. Maybe a week and a half. But these guys have gone to town a lot. There's some people with some end game tech on here already. And uh, I'm going to be doing my best to catch up. Now, this series is actually going to end up replacing my... Um, this is a series going to end up replacing my Horizon series. Because uh, as far as PAX goes, this has a, a kind of similar... I mean, it has a couple of similar mods. But um, my uh, Horizon series is kind of... Uh, I'm kind of done with that. Because I think I've covered just about everything in the pack that I wanted to cover and I built everything I wanted to build So it's time to move on to something new a new project and uh, I got invited to the Primus server It's really cool by uh, Brink the Gamer. He's actually online right now So I might go say hello to him and this is where you sp spawn on this server This is a whitelisted server, so please uh, do not ask me for the information. I cannot give it to you uh, so um, We're gonna we're gonna press on um, the pack is unabridged and it has uh, a lot of cool mods a lot of mods that will be familiar and it has um, some new mods in it that I've not had a chance to play with before and I want to check out some of that new stuff I'm gonna uh, be doing of course a lot of my old stuff it has some of my favorites it has ender IO so that's um, like my favorite tech mod uh, it has uh, some magic it has some tech it's kind of a kitchen sink pack, but it's uh, quite well balanced. The pack is available on the AT launcher. So if you're interested, I think it has actually gone uh, a, a public available. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check it out and download it. So there'll be a code down there that you can uh, put into the AT launcher to be able to uh, download the pack. And oh, it looks like somebody just started a new building project over there. That's pretty cool. There's Brink. Wave. He's... He's uh, already got jetpack and lots of technology and stuff. It just seems like a good majority of the players on here are uh, pl have been doing mostly technology stuff. So uh, if I'm uh, I'm thinking that instead of doing technology, and uh, you see me do a lot of tech mods in the past, um, I'm gonna stick to magic this time. Wow, this is a really nice. They've been really going to town. On the spot. Wow, I did not know that there was a giant clock thing. That's really cool. Well, that's really cool. I'm spoiling everything today in my video, so I'm showing things that may not be out in other people's videos yet. I apologize. But if you're, I think that they said that if you're in the spawn town, there's really no, you don't have to worry about spoiling stuff. There's a really awesome tower over there. And we kind of get another view of what Brink's working on there. Uh, there's a really cool building over there. Everybody's been doing some just incredible building and the wall that's around this uh, village was put up by uh, uh, Shoop. Um, am, I, am I saying that right? No. Salus. I think that's it. Salus, your favorite Shoop. So we're going to be uh, checking everybody out. I think there's a non sandy on here right now. We've got Wells Knight, uh, Brink the Gamers. Guy sent me the uh, invitation. Aaron. Uh, there's actually two Aaron's on here, I think. There's Aaron and there's Crazy Aaron. I think that's right. Anyway. I apologize if I uh, if I forgot to mention you. There's a lot of people on here. There's going to be a link in the, in the description uh, for all the other channels, so be sure to go check them guys out, especially if you wanted to see how the uh, initial days on the uh, server went, the initial startup went. Um, since I'm kind of joining in a little bit after the initial start, um, I'm just going to kind of skip over all the normal setup. I'm going to go around and borrow stuff is basically what it's going to amount to. I'm going to go... Uh, this is kind of like a public uh, area right here for for uh, Tinker's Construct. And uh, if we look in my inventory, actually, let's uh, clear this out. Let's get, rid of, get rid of that. Get out of there. Get out of my way. If we look at my inventory, you can see that I just have a ton of books in my inventory. That's because when you start, you start up with this bag that says, do not open until you have a base. Well, I silly, I silly, me silly, me opened it. <laughs> and it dropped out all these books in these bookshelves. So um, I originally was going to go. There's a, there's a rogue dungeon like really close to town here, really close to the starter town. You can almost probably see it. Maybe if I can show it to you on the, the journey map, and that's a different key than I'm used to. 
If I showed it to you on the journey map, maybe where was it? It was around here somewhere. Ah, yeah, right here. There's a rogue dungeon right here, right outside town. I was thinking about making it my base, but really, the majority of the people um, around town have pretty much kind of looted it already. It's pretty much it's already been looted, and um, I don't think there would be much there for me. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have to go somewhere, and I'm going to build a wizard's tower because I'm going to focus on magic. I think I said that already. I'm going to focus on magic instead of technology for the most part. And that's not to say that I'm not going to have technology at my place or that I'm not going to use it or anything. So I'm really going to be like a techno wizard guy. Um, and we're going to focus on doing, uh, let's see, there's different magic mods on here. There's definitely, there's definitely Thomcraft. Definitely Thomcraft. And there is also Witchery. And I believe there's Britannia. I'm not sure if there's another magic mod beyond that. But between those three, we should be able to do some pretty powerful magics and stuff. Number 10 High Street. It's non-society's place. We'll go in and wave hey to him. He's got a really cool place. And he did have... I don't even see it now. He's, he's built up his place so much. Whoa. What the... What was that? What was the green? What was the green? I don't even know what happened there. Kind of interesting. But uh, we got large doors. There's a lot of things in this pack that are going to allow for... Um, making some really cool buildings. So I'm going to need some suggestions on uh, what to do for building up my base. And I want to do something really cool. And these guys are all really good builders, so I want to try and do something pretty cool and impressive. That looks like his original place down there, maybe. I was kind of looking for the water wheel. I could swear there was a water wheel. Temporary entrance. Oop, I can't even go in there. Oh, there we go. Wow, yeah, see, Non-Sanity's already got all the tech. I think he's got an AE system and everything else. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of buzz around town here. I'm going to go find a place to just kind of set up, set my bookshelves and throw all these books away. Or, or put them down for temporary. Uh, and then I'm going to go around and see what I can uh, what I can beg, borrow, and steal in order to get set up, started up, and overpowered before I even strike out in the world. So there should be lots of good stuff. There's that really cool house on the hill that uh, I forget I forget the guy's name to build it. I'm sorry, but it's really cool looking. He's up there. And there's another there's another tower somewhere else right outside of town that I wanted to kind of look at. I don't see it right now. But yeah, really awesome builder skills on here. And I'm going to... It's not really competition or anything, but I'm hoping to learn uh, some good techniques from some of these guys as I watch them build some really awesome buildings and such. So I'm going to run around town. Uh, collect a bunch of stuff, find a place to rest my bookshelves, <laughs> and uh, I'll be back once I've actually got a decent uh, little start and we're ready to actually tear into some kind of a new mod. And uh, back with you in a moment. Okay, folks, that didn't uh, take too long. Uh, it just uh, it ended up that uh, Non-Sanity had pretty much everything I needed. Uh, so I got myself an Enderium Matic. He had all the stuff to make Enderium and Signalum. So I got myself a Signalum uh, based crossbow. It has actually an Enderium par part in it, but I'm also using Enderium tipped bolts for a total of 25 hearts of damage. Basically that's 50 damage. So that should pretty much one hit kill the majority of the mobs unless they're really heavily armored or have something special about them. Uh, I was also able, able to make a dark steel pick. This is a Tinker's Construct pick. So I just used the dark steel for the tip and uh, a completely Enderium hammer. That was really nice. So I uh, put myself together an obsidian chisel and made myself a set of dark steel uh, armor all from um, all from Nonsanity's supplies here. He's really well set up down here. Uh, I also made myself an ender chest and ender pouch so that I would be able to uh, store things and be able to send that back to a base of some sort, which um, I'm actually going to be building over in the woods or in town here. I wanted to have a little house in town of some kind. And since I'm going to be doing the magic-like stuff mostly, I thought um, it would be nice to have my little witch hut. Now, I've built my little witch hut a couple times before. I'm pretty sure I've showed it in previous... Uh, in previous videos but like right over here there doesn't seem to be anybody living over here in the woods and there's enough space here for me to build just a little witch hut it's gonna be pretty much like the one that I had 
my witch hut that I had um, back in uh, when I was playing Age of Adventure, and I was a pirate. So since I'm going to be doing magic, I thought witch hut would be appropriate for me. And uh, I just threw down my bookshelves for now to get rid of all that stuff out of my inventory for time while I do a little exploration and resource gathering in order to get that taken care of. But thanks to non-sanity and, and having all of the uh, materials I needed to quickly put together a overpowered set of tools and armor, I should be able to do that with relative safety. Now I need to come up with a color that I'm going to use for my inner chest because I'm pretty sure white, white, white is probably not a good idea on the server unless I had a diamond to put on it, which I don't. So I'm going to go come up with some dye, uh, dye that. Uh, we might as well go ahead and just set down here for now. Yeah, I'm sure I don't want to put anything in there. I bet if I put something in there, oh, no, nothing came out. I figured something would pull it out, but apparently nobody's using white, white. It's probably the color that they're using for uh, trades between players. I'm just guessing. Uh, we'll find out some more about that. Uh, some things about the server I should mention is that um, prior to fighting the dragon, they want everybody to stay within a thousand meters of spawn. So they don't want everybody just going out all over the place, going real far away, or going to other dimensions and setting up bases until we've had a chance to commun communi communally kill the dragon. <laughs> until the whole cha community comes together to kill the dragon. And then we're going to go ahead and spread out and start doing our big, huge base builds um, out in wherever later. So right now I just want to get myself a little hut, little witch's hut, and get that set up and um, basically get cozy on the server. Uh, big thanks to Nonsanity because that would have taken me a while to find all this stuff and get to this point if I wouldn't have been able to borrow that stuff from him. So I'm going to collect some materials and uh, build the house. I don't know if I'll do a montage of that or not. Um, we'll see. But I'll be back shortly after I'm cozied in. All right, as you can see, I've got a good start on this. I'm trying to improve on my original design a little bit, but I'm going to use a lot more carpenter blocks. I'm going to do some things like um, making the walls um, half slab. Let's see, I've got my carpenter hammer, so I'm going to do like that, except I want it to be, come on. There we go. And then I'll uh, do something like, well, I'm not sure if this is the material I'm going to use for the walls yet or not. I'm not sure. I've used spruce for the, the corner pillars for the supports of the house. Actually, that doesn't look bad. And let's see, this would be a window. I guess it would help if I kept a hammer on my... No, no, come on. Go that way. There we go. Yeah, there we go, and we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll also do that for the windows as well. We'll do, oh, cool, okay, cool. That's nice, if it's if you place it down beside one that's already half slab like that, it'll just go ahead and slab up for you. That's kind of nice. And I think I'm actually going to only have the room be like three high, because it's actually going to end up looking taller on the inside because of the roof. If I need it to turn, I need it to turn and go that way. Now, you know, they do weird things. So I'm going to be working with, with this. And I guess I'll record it and probably just kind of speed it up so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I think I am just going to go with spruce wood for the actual walls. I'll have to get some glass going. Um, I did go down and do a quick bit of mining so that I'd have some of my own materials. I wouldn't have to, take, to, uh, to borrow from everybody else. <laughs> um, then I'm also going to have to he head over to the nether to get some materials too because there's supposed to be a fireplace back here and I haven't even started on that yet. Uh, but we'll get to that here real soon. Anyway, uh, what did I... Oh yeah, what did I do that for? Oh, glass, that's right. So I need to go get some sand and I will be back in a little bit to show you some progress on this. Okay, folks, I'm back. I've got my, I've got my little witch hut just pretty much done. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys something that's pretty cool here in the village. Uh, I originally thought this thing uh, here was somebody's house, but then when I actually come up on it, this is um, this is a spawner uh, for Endermen, and it, it does some really cool stuff. I'll have to figure out how it works and show it to you guys later. Uh, there's lots of instructions here. Uh, the setup uses Batania flowers to trap and poison them. There's a, a Victulus and a 
Hyacinthus, or I don't know how you say these things. Eventually, they we get one heart, and then you can just uh, smack them. Uh, and I think one of the other, I think one of those flowers prevents them from teleporting away. So that's pretty good. Um, and you basically you just throw something down and burn a bowl. I think. Oh please. Yeah. Okay. They got plenty of stuff in there. Please put burnables for the end of endo flame in there, so we can. Uh, and that's how it gets the mana. So it looks like there's plenty of material in there right now, so I don't gotta worry about that. I could probably flip this on for a little bit. But I really don't need the ender pearls at the moment, and I'm running out of inventory space in my in my hut here already. Uh, so all we would have to do to make this work would be to flip the lever. We'll just give it a test, just to to see how it works. Oh. That's good. I don't want. I don't want much more. Let's see how long, how long it takes. That's gonna bring them guys down. Now I think that with my Enderian Matic here, I should be able to pretty much kill them. Even though, even though as it says, it's a it's a spawner from a rogue dungeon, and uh, they might have hot, uh, some decent armor. Uh, yeah. So they may not always die on one punch, but I'm not definitely gonna. Definitely gonna die to me, I think. There we go. Pretty cool. And this is actually very close. Oh, this gave me uh, something I don't want. And the, these are actually all the uh, the armor drops that they drop. So I got a couple of ender pearls there. Uh, yeah, I'll just hold on to those because I might get, I might need those to get out of situation because I don't have flight or anything yet. So um, yeah, this is the southwest corner of the village, and then there's some forest over here. We got a little path that leads over to my little witch's cottage. Over here, and you see that I used um, skystone bricks as the the roof, and I think those look awesome as a roof material because they look just like slate, in my opinion. Uh, and then I used some carpenter or some uh, tinkers, um, carpenters stuff and tinkers stuff. Or not tinkers. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say chisel. There we go. Chiseled stone down here. Kind of like that. Kind of darker stone uh, texture there for the for the base. Uh, pretty much stuck to spruce for most of the wood. Except for these under underlayings here. That's um that's birch. Because I, that usually when you look at a soffit on a house, it's usually a very light color. So I went for that. And uh, I, I put this little... Um, uh, window like structure there in the top I kind of like that and I got this indentation in the wall I really like that it kind of adds some flavor um, that's a whoops right there that's not supposed to do that let me fix that real quick oh I see why I did that ah dang it and it just messed up my inside too there we go put that back I'll fix the inside here in a minute too probably um, we've got the fireplace on the back I need to get some spider webs so I can make it look like it's uh, smoking. Either that or I need to put a smokestack on the very top of it and just let it, let it do its thing. This side about the same. Uh, I found some mushrooms when I went over to the nether and I planted them out here and they are starting to spread so that's good because I need those for some things, some magical things. We'll get into all that in a bit. This is kind of weird. I used um, soul sand as the texture on the door but what happens is when I go through the door it slows me down as if I'm walking on soul sand. I, I don't think that's necessarily bad but um, I'm, so I'm gonna leave it, and yeah, that did mess up my uh, that did mess up my my seat in here. Let's uh, fix this. There we go. That's the one I want. There, it's fixed. There we go. Now I got my seat back and my table. You know, I probably should put a tablecloth on my table. So what I could do for that is uh, get a piece of wool. And I'll probably replace this later with some kind of color or something like that. Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. I think you're supposed to be able to... No? I could swear that you were able to put a tablecloth on these things. Guess not. Um, or either that or I'm just doing it wrong. It doesn't do that. No. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And uh, and put that on. We'll get a tablecloth. I'll probably get a flower and put it on there too, just for, for nice. Uh, my witch's oven set up. I don't have any funnel fume, uh, fume funnels just yet. I just barely got enough uh, stuff to do all that. And uh, when I went to collect the sky stone, I ended up getting the, the sky stone chest out of the middle of the of the meteor. 
Uh, I got me a nice desk. I moved all my books in here. I lost a couple books because when I went to um, when I went to move them in here, what I did is I just broke the. I had them sitting out here, remember? And uh, I just went ahead and broke the um, uh, the the bookshelves that they were in, and a couple of them landed on the ground. And and in this pack, if those books um, are on the ground, uh, lightning will strike and it will uh, burn the books. I think that's to prevent lag on on larger servers, but. Um, I got a nice little bed now. I actually need to set my spawn there relatively soon, but it, it really doesn't matter too much because my spawn's still at the original um, uh, spawn of the uh, of the server, so it's really not that far away. It wouldn't be a big deal if I did actually happen to die or something like that. But I've been collecting Thomcraft shards and pretty much just about everything I need. Anything I anything I see that like I might need later for doing magic stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get into some magic stuff in the in the next episode stuff, but this episode is just all about getting set up. I got a nice little cozy house, you can see, but there's a secret. There's more. There's definitely more to this. So I don't know if you remember me doing this uh, in my older videos, but there's a book that uh, in, for bibliocraft that will make the um, bookshelf, the bookcase, it will give it a uh, will make it output a redstone signal. And it's sitting right on top of a drawbridge, which opens up down into the basement. So this is my secret basement. And uh, I'll end up putting a few machines and some, some other things down here. And possibly uh, might expand it down even further. I don't know. Um, I really don't need a huge place to live here in town. Because eventually I'm going to be going out and looking for a really nice place to build a uh, incredibly... A large and complex wizard spire type thing. Um, probably not immensely far from the from the uh, starter village, but I do want to be a little bit away from it because uh, just the amount of stuff that goes on in the village and all the machines and stuff like that can can give you a hit to your uh, frame rate and such. Uh, so that's my nice little cozy apothecary, and. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this very first one up, I, and it might be a short one, I think, because I probably don't have a ton of material, but but there it is, and uh, maybe next time I'll do a little tour, or I will possibly try to get together with somebody and do a collaboration, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and, I, and I, I, I look forward to hearing what you think about the series, I, I probably missed all kinds of information, so I'll just kind of fill you in as I go, uh, I think I mentioned the server roles about staying, we got, we're going to stay close to they are staying close together until we kill the dragon and this pack does have hardcore ender expansion so that might be difficult but thanks to um tinker's construct i don't know if we're going to de decide to not use tinker's construct or not depends on what what we do but if uh, we use our tinker's construct weapons uh it's not going to be that hard because this does do like 25 hearts of damage which equals like 50 total damage a heart is actually two points uh so i'm actually able to, to crank out 200 damage per second with this because it can fire four rounds a second it's like a machine gun um that shoots uh enderian bullets so um yeah I i'm pretty happy with the way this turned out uh it's a little bit better than the last time i built it i think every time i build this little structure it does get a little bit better i need to double check make sure that everything is well lit around here since i uh i think i broke a couple torches but Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave you guys uh, at the end of this episode. And again, I hope you like it. Let me know how you feel about this series. And um, if you think that I missed something important in my um, Horizons uh, series, please uh, let me know. And, uh, you know, I might just jump back in there and go ahead and make one more episode to cover that. But I think... As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure I covered the majority of the really cool new stuff that was in Horizons while I was playing it. So I feel that this uh, uh, has a pretty good um, amount of uh, a pretty good similar play for it. I mean, there's a lot of similar um, similarities between this and Horizons, uh, but this has a lot more content. So I should be able to carry on quite a bit longer. And uh, so we're going to be doing witchery, we're going to be doing thomcraft, we're going to be doing blood magic, uh, just basically all the, and of course Batania, basically all of the magic stuff. I'm going to stick primarily to that, um, 
but eventually I, I will have to have a few machines just to, uh, um, well, maybe not even, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we do. I'm going to try to do everything with magic that I possibly can. And uh, any automations, any setups, any any uh, ore processing, pretty much everything. I'm going to do it with magic. Uh, there is lots of tech in the pack. There's lots of really good tech. It's a really good mixture of of uh, of mods that I, I and I like pretty much all of them. Um, and you've got Buildcraft and Ender IO and oh, just so many things. Um, and again, all that information is going to be down in the description, so you can go ahead and download the pack if you want. It's on the AT Launcher. Uh, check out everybody else's channel. Be sure to do that. That's also going to be in the description and. Uh, go tell a non-sanity that thank you for helping Landstrider because he was such a big help. Such a big help. And let's get rid of that for a second. Get out, get out of there. Get out of there. He was such a big help helping me get equipped so that I was able to really just uh, quickly go out and gather what I needed to put this together. So it was super awesome. And now I'm going to be able to go out and gather more stuff. And I'm going to go exploring a little bit. Hopefully find a location for my eventual wizard's uh, spire. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and a thumbs up. And until next time, I will uh, catch you later.